In the last lecture, you learned about the all keyword. In this example, we're only getting rows where invoice total is greater than all the values returned by this subquery. Okay. Now, in MySQL, we also have the any or some keywords. They're equivalent. And with this, we'll get rows where invoice total is greater than any of these values returned by this subquery. Let me show you an example of this. So let's say we want to select the clients with at least two invoices. How can we solve this problem? Well, first we need to know the count of invoices for each client. So we can write a query like this, select client ID and count of everything from the invoices table group by client ID. Let's execute this query. There you go. So next to each client, we know the count of their invoices. Now we are only interested in clients that have at least two invoices. So here we want to apply a filter using the having clause because we want to filter after grouping our data. Okay. So having count of star greater than or equal to two. So with this, we get clients one, three, and five. Beautiful. Now here we don't really need this column, the count column. We only want to know the client IDs. So we can remove this from our select clause. Let's execute the query one more time. So we only have the client IDs here. Beautiful. Now we want to select the clients with these IDs. That is very easy, right? So we go to the clients table and select everything where client ID is in any of the values returned by this subquery, like this. They've already done this before, right? So these are our clients, one, three, and five. Beautiful. Now there is another way to write this query. Instead of using the in operator, we can use the equality operator and prefix the subquery with any. So if client ID equals to any of the values returned by this subquery, that client will be returned in the final result. So equal any is equivalent to the in operator. Which approach you choose is entirely up to you. They're both equal. 